welcome to my channel i trust everyone is fine by the grace of god please before we get this like comment and subscribe i should put my hands down yeah please like comment and subscribe if you've not um subscribed to this channel please do so right some way somehow we've been made to believe that if you are poor then you are godly if you are poor it means you are godly and that you just look at this if you see a rich man in africa here if you see a rich man the first thing that crosses your mind is blood money it doesn't cross your mind that oh sakawa or something you see somebody driving a, a nice car a young lady driving a nice car you just say oh it's sugar daddy and that's because unconsciously we've been made to think that poverty is affiliated to christ that poverty is the if you see somebody that's poor the person's a godly person and that is far from god then god according to revelation 21 verse 21 that touched the streets of heaven with gold you think a young is what you give you if his street or is tied with gold you think you his child you his child you his child you his child will get a young <laughs> Oh Jesus, Lord, open our eyes. That's what I pray for. I pray that God will open your eyes. I pray that God will put a desire in your spirit. I pray that even when the desire God has placed in your heart, you will start to pray and want to see those desires met. Because where God is taking us, I know as prophetically that because of the times we are in now, God is going to do a lot of things. So many unusual things. So many young people that are going to preach just like me. People even younger than me that are going to carry the power of God, that will preach the word of God, that will move according to the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. He's going to do so many unusual things, but he has to first place that desire inside your heart. I remember early this year, I thought the devil was chasing me, but I concluded that this thing was from the devil because I was having some mental struggles. I said, no, this is a straight attack from the devil. I don't want to go into details, but I reached a time where after about two months of deliberating, I concluded that this kind of thing that's happening to my mind is from the devil. And I was binding him, binding him, binding him, and I reached a point where I'm not hearing from God. And I am a prophetess by the grace of God. I don't make this known, but if you know, you know. And I live to hear God's voice. That's what that's what makes me alive. To hear God speak to me. And I hear him. So when he's I, I wasn't hearing him, I said no. The devil started speaking to me like, yes, you've lost your calling. And he started to remind me of all the past times and all the things I did in the past. I start, and once you give the devil attention, you give you direction. So he started to tell me that he has, you've lost it. In fact, where you are now, you are the, the calling is not there. God has replaced you with somebody and you can't even reach anywhere again. And I actually, I believed the right. I believed the I, I, I started telling him. So I, at a point, I think if you notice from January, around Fe January to February there, I barely posted. And that was because at that time, I wasn't hearing from God. And I made a covenant with God that I will not come on this channel and post anything that's faith related which he hasn't spoken to me about if he hasn't told me that i've told you this and say it i will not i will not go ahead and say it so i told myself that no i've lost my calling i've lost my calling and i'm so passionate about this that's why you see me sweat then i went to fast because i didn't know what else to do when i'm stuck between two options then best thing i do is to fast so then i went to fast and i asked god that lord what is going on you are not speaking to me I've done what I have to do, you are still not speaking. I know I'm fasting, and I know you are not obliged to speak to me just because I'm fasting. But where I preach right now, I need to know something from you. Do you know what God told me? He told me that what do I want? Do I want him to speak to me so that I come and make a video? Do I want him to speak to me so that I send it to somebody that, hey, there's a revelation I had about you. Be careful in this. Do I want to speak and then I'm just speaking, speaking, speaking? Have I not reached the point where I'm tired of him just saying it and leaving it there? There have been testimonies from this channel, people that have been healed, people that have experienced God, people who are now hearing God's word. But is that all I want? Did he just bring me here to sit down and make videos and leave it there and he, he believe him for those testimonies that come? He is he's the one who said this. So he said, praise him for the testimonies, but they are big things he wants to do. There are places we have to go. There's revival we have to set in places. And in Central University here where I am, I have to go there. There are students that must catch fire. There are students that must see me and there are certain additions be broken. There are people that must watch these videos and instantly they feel the power of God shoot through the camera even to where they are. There's a greater picture. There are nations that need to hear the word of God. My sister was uh, privileged to travel to Turkey about two years ago and when she went there, she was asking some of them about God and surprisingly, 
TV. Some of them they said they, they isn't it the old man in Africa who something something? And she said, no, where did they get this perception from? And that's just to tell you that there are people in places that haven't heard of God, people in places that haven't heard the good news. And so he was asking me, is this what I want? I want to sit here and post video. It's good to post the video. People are getting testimonies, but is this all? Is it the one one testimonies where somebody sends me an email from a faraway country? Is that all? There are countries that are waiting for us to step inside those countries for a rival to be dead. And he started telling me, is this all I want? If this all I want, fine. He can speak to me and I'll be released. He can speak to me and I'll release. But he needs people that are willing to die to self. He needs people that are willing to move around and create revival. He needs people that are willing to subject themselves to him so that he will have his own way with them. And I thought it was the devil because I wasn't hearing from him. And from that day, God placed the desire in me. And after that encounter, I told him that, Lord, if I'll be like everybody else, then I don't want it. From what you told me, if I'll be like everybody else and be like a normal, uh, I don't want to mention my age, but okay, well, if I'll be like a normal 21 year old girl and I'll just be moving around and doing evangelism and sharing tracks, I don't want it. I want to go to places and when people see me, just by them looking at me, they see you. Just by them looking at me, wicked spirit to flee. Just by them looking at me, sick people, people whose legs are broken, people that don't even have legs. I believe him to do that. The people that don't even have legs, I don't know how it will happen, but they will walk on their two legs. I believe him that people that have been born blind would receive healing and will receive their sight. I believe him that he can do that. And I start to tell him that, no, yes, I, I, I'm a 21 year old girl. That's true, granted. But I know you can do something. I saw how you used Timothy. Like, no, Lord, if you can do this, this is what I want. I don't want to be like everybody, I want to be different. I want to be different. I want to walk and let people know that, yes, I've seen you. I want to speak and let people know that, yeah, this girl has been with the Lord. I want to stand somewhere and people will say, mm, praise God for your life. Had it not been you that God used, something would have happened. Had it not been you that appeared at this time. If you didn't make this video, I was just right about to commit suicide. I want to hear testimonies. I want God to use me. That's all I cry for now. That's all I pray for. And... Oh, blessed Jesus. Blessed Jesus. That's all I want. That's all I want. That is all I want. That is all I want. Right now, that's all I ask for because he has showed me certain things. He has made me realize that in this 21 years, even the things I'm doing for a girl at my age is not normal. But if I would desire what he's willing to do, I don't have to wait. I know that I'm, I'm a different child. I know I was born a proper child. I know God has plans for me. And trust me, you are privileged if you know me because where God is sending me, oh goodness, and where he's sending you to is even beyond what the mind can think. So long as you start to align yourself to his will and desires. But then back to what I was saying, it's all about their desires, all about what you want from him. God will fulfill it. So long as you are desiring what he desires for your life, you fulfill it. If you are coming to him and believing him, that's why scripture says that he, whoever that must come to God must believe that he is, not he was. You must believe that the same God that parted the Red Sea, the same God that, that made somebody sleep in prison and wake up as a prime minister, that same God is able to turn things around. That same God is able to make the sick, oh Lord, be healed. That same God is able to make people without hands have two hands. I heard the testimony of a woman who had had a, 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 an operation and they put a metal in her leg, in her arm, right? In her arm instead. And she went for evangelism. She went to evangelize to souls. She was sharing the tracks when the Holy Spirit told her to come home. She came home and lied on her bed. When she woke up, the metal that they put in her hand was lying by her bed. And her hand was normal. The arm was functioning. It was moving. She could lift it. If I were her, I don't know what would have happened to me. These are testimonies. These are things God can do. And no pastor was there to do it. I want people to watch these videos and suddenly diabetes leaves your body. Heart disease leaves your body. Uh, asthma leaves your body. The devil just leaves your abode. I want people to watch this and receive the vibe. I want people to watch this and then a fire starts to burn in their spirit. And their hearts become connected to God. And their hearts start to pant for God. I pray that all of you here would have a desire. I pray that all of you will have an increased desire for the Lord that you will see what God is willing to do in this time. Uh, this is a glorious time to be alive. It's a glorious time to be alive. Uh, God is willing to take nothing and make it something for his glory. Uh, and if only you will allow him. Uh, if only
only you allow your heart to be aligned to his will, uh, you will see the hand of God, you will see the move of God. Listen to me, the young ministers that watch me, the young people, the new people that are giving their lives to God, these young ones that are coming around, God is able to do yes, He's able to do with us uh, what he never did with the fathers, and that is what he's going to do. Uh, in this end time, young people, people as young as 15 uh, are going to catch revival, uh, they are going to have personal revivals, they will move from nations to nations, uh, they will preach the word of God, uh, their sick shall be healed, uh, there will be strange miracles, uh, as you leave the body of Christians, uh, if you are any Christian that you have AIDS in your body, I'm telling you, hear me right now, as I speak the word of God, uh, I speak healing into your life, uh, right now, that thing has left your body, share this testimony to the glory of God, uh, somebody is watching me, the AIDS in your body has left you, right this moment, it has left you, it has left you, check it, it is not there, if God is alive, this is not a joke. I say God is doing something new here. If God is alive, if God is alive, if God is alive. If your name in this book of life.